Hello everyone and welcome to Talking Dogs. I'm Sam Stevenson. And I'm Kaylin Ross. Today we'll be talking once again about the effects that improper cycling could have on our environment. That's right Sam, we will be interviewing our local WHS student about what exactly we're doing when we throw away bottles with caps still on them, or paper in the aluminum container. Here's Tay to literate proper recycling techniques. Well, I'm here on the scene. I'm not sure where this guy is, but I'm a- <laughs> What the heck? <sighs> okay, done with my apple juice. Ah! Whoa, is that Recyclops? Yes, it is true. I am the Recyclops, the last of my kind from the planet Recyclor. Uh, I lost my home world due to the negligence of my people, and I am here to tell you about recycling. Who, me? Yes, you and all the inseparable fools who have been throwing their plastic bottles in the trash. Recyclops, how can I recycle? Well, for starters, you can empty the liquids out of your bottles as you go to recycle them. Take off the caps and make sure that they're either one or two brand plastic. You can check on the bottom of the bottle, it will say in a little triangle. Recyclops, where can I find these recycling bins? Literally anywhere. You go anywhere in the school and find a recycling bin just like this and put in your empty can or bottle. What happens if I don't recycle? You will face not only the wrath of Mother Earth, young Sam, but the wrath of the mighty Recyclops. Wow, Recyclops, thank you for everything you've taught me today. Do not worry, young Sam. It is both my duty and my burden. Well, that was weird. Back in the studio with Kaylin, and though Recyclops is a bit crazy, he has a point. We really should be recycling and doing the right thing for our ecosystem. 42% of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions are associated with the energy used to produce, process, transport, and dispose of the food we eat and the goods we use. And although you may not think about it, municipal solid waste landfills are the third larger source of human-related methane emissions in the United States. And within a year's period, the normal breakdown process of these materials is one of the highest sources of the greenhouse gas methane. Here are some statistics from a high school survey. 30% of students said recycling was not important to them. 27% of students never take caps off plastic bottles when recycling. 32% of students sometimes or rarely recycle. So next time, don't just recycle. Make sure you do it the right way. That's all we have on today's show. I'm Kaylin. And I'm Sam. We'll see you next time on Talking Dogs.